Hi folks, uh, another paranormal uh, video, a uh, quick one, two things, the cigarette case and what should we call it, the crying child. First one, cigarette case, um, cut long story short, uh, a friend I used to see in town quite a lot, uh, she saw this and thought, yeah, I think that would go with him. Um, he will like that. So she bought it for me. I, I brought it home. Um, I was sitting looking at it, doing all this sort of thing, having a look inside, whatever. And the feeling I got from it that this was very much loved. Whoever, whoever had this, had it on him all the time. It was... Uh, in a bag, pocket, whatever, but it was on them all the time. And I got the impression as well that it, it was a woman, although this could be a man or a woman's. And I'm, I'm sure some women's ones were a little bit fancy, but yeah, I got the impression it was a woman's. Um, as you can see, they're a bit beveled at the back. Um, pockets or anything, they fit a bit like a nip flask. <clears throat> Anyway, that's the feelings out of it. And then I was laid on my side like that, as one does, watching television. And I had it in my hand, and I noticed that all of a sudden, I had it in my hand down there, and my hand was on top of my leg. And I was doing that, or that way, which, whichever way, I was turning it like that. And I suddenly noticed that, I thought, Hang on, I'm doing what that person did with it. Now I'm not saying they laid there, they've been doing it on the leg, but they would do this all the time with it. When it wasn't in a bag or anything, they'd have it in their hand and they'd be turning it. And, and I thought, I, I, re I really knew that. I really, really knew that. And then the strange thing was, I looked at it, had a good look at it in the light and that. And at the back there, there was an area where it just fit my hand like that. On the front, there was three, three marks like that. And my fingers fit into those three marks, little indentations. And I thought, flipping neck. that, it was just, and so I knew that that person in, in life, um, when they had that, it was cherished, it was loved, they really, re I, I don't know, I, I don't know if it's a present from someone, a love gift or what, but it was certainly flipping loved, and Enough that they clenched it a lot. I, I, I was thinking of uh, what to talk about in this video. And I thought the cigarette case. And I got it out. And look. What do you see? What do you see? Nothing. N O T H I N G. Nothing. And I hope I spelled that bloody right. I'm going to look a dickhead in it. Nothing. There's no finger indentations. There's no thumb bit indentation. Nothing. Now, whether or not that's lost its. Uh, um, whatever the word is, um, and took up on uh, my place, I don't know, but it's baffling to me, I, I don't even understand that, to be honest, metal, three fingerprint, like that, 
indentations and from there gone. Very strange. <coughs> the cigarette case. Number two, uh, the crying child. Well, I'll start with the first bit first. There's a church nearby and I pass it every day. Uh, I'll put one or two little bits of uh, um, video up there. And it, I, I don't know if I took photographs of the dints. If I did, I will come back onto that. Um, but yeah, um, the church uh, at the side, all the way around there's a, a tall edge and then there's a, a gap with a sort of archway with a metal gate in it. Um, walking home one day, walking past it, uh, more or less as you might see. And I just felt to look as I, I got to the, the gate and I turned and there was a, a person walking pretty fast towards the gate but a little way off. <laughs> which I, I think was a man at like I said, I didn't take a lot of notice, but they were walking. By the time I got to the end of the edge to turn, um, I had planks. So they got to the, the gate, that was about the right distance. They got to the gate, shut the gate, clank. Thought, oh, I'll have a look to those is sod. Turned, looked down that edge. Nobody. Thought, oh, flipping it. Must have opened the gate, shut it, gone back again. Just got round the corner of the. Well, it was a. From that, it was about three steps. One, two, three. Looked through the edge. nothing nobody for them to have got from there out of sight they would have had to got down on their hands and knees and then done a flipping dash because they could not have done it so nobody that side nobody that side um sometime later walking home again past that little bit i could hear crying and it, it was over this tall edge. So, didn't take a lot of notice, but then it, it was really loud again, and we're talking about loud. Um, and I thought, I better check it. I didn't know whether somebody had, I can't imagine somebody forgetting a child. Um, did somebody leave a child there for somebody to to find I, I don't know i thought i'd better check it out went over the road stood on the the stone bit i could see over the edge so nothing i thought well i better check in case it's sort of down there so went back to that gate in the gate i could see the whole lot nothing peace and quiet no crying no child uh, i'm saying a child um i'm saying a child because it was crying but the, the sound of it could have been a, 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 it, it, a child or a woman it wasn't a man put it that way nothing um Definitely it wasn't, an, it wasn't an animal, it wasn't a cat or anything. I've heard, I've heard them make <coughs> human sort of noises and it, it definitely weren't that. Um, so I had to come back out and uh, went on my way home and uh, no, uh, nothing else from that. No more crying, no nothing. Um, 
So really that's just two little experiences of uh, to keep it short of that little bit. Um, I've seen people over there before, live ones, um, and I don't really know what it is over there, but I have a suspicion people either put ashes there, come back to say hi and that sort of thing, or, or it's just somewhere where you can put a name plaque and uh, they come and uh, remember them that way or something, I don't know. But it's definitely summer over there in, in that grass sort of area. Um, so yeah, two experiences I've had just going past that gate. Um, the future and whether I have any more is to be seen. But that was just two little experiences I've had uh, of paranormal stuff. Um, the cigarette case and the crying child or woman. So, have fun, don't do anything I want. Keep your eyes open, keep listening. Just me out. <laughs> See you later. Ha 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 